Hi, hi. <laughs> ah, there we go. Lights. We have lights. Hi, girls. Hi, hi. So I'm just going to wait for a few of you to come on. We've got an exciting night tonight. If, um, if the announcements that we've just had from Unique are not enough, um, we've got a very exciting interview tonight with one of our latest up and coming rock stars in the team. Hi Louise, how are you? <laughs> Hi Lisa. So uh, how are you all doing girls? Hi Claire. So what do you think? We've had so many amazing, amazing announcements this week. New car bonuses, new additions to the comp plan, new easier requirements, new bonuses all round. I swear, Derek is like Oprah Winfrey at the moment. He's going, you get a car, and you get a car, and you get a car. <laughs> it's awesome. And they've announced Mexico, Cancun for next year's incentive. Hi, Teresa. They have announced Texas, San, San Antonio, Texas, for the next convention. Who's going to be there? I'm never, never missing convention again. I've been sitting here at home watching with serious convention envy. <laughs> and all the girls, they've got so many free products, more than their tickets cost. So, okay. Hi, Teresa. We're interviewing your sister today, my love. Is she on? Let's have a look. I haven't, haven't seen her pop on yet, but I'm sure she is. Do, do, do. I wonder if I can search by person. <laughs> I think you can actually request to join these days. So, Lisa, my love, if you're on, comment for me, my love. I think I can invite, yeah, I can invite Lisa. If you're on, darling, comment on the feed and I will invite you from your comment. So, here she is. Here she is. Perfect timing. So, this lovely lady who I'm interviewing today, she has been with the business since February 2016. She's one of our amazing green elites in Rosie Alti's team. And this month, she is fast approaching her orange status promotion. It's going to happen this month. She's on track. We're really, really excited. So, without further ado, I'm going to introduce her to the broadcast. Lisa, are you ready? <laughs> we have our very lovely. So, the invite has been sent. And she should ju jump on any second. Hi, beautiful. Hi. I recognise that sludge. Oh, I know. I'm in love with it right now. <laughs> I wonder why. It's beautiful. Are you wearing unapologetic? It's, yeah, it's the brand new burnt orange one. Yes. Love it. And it goes with your jumper as well. You look amazing. I know, right? I only bought it the other day. I was like, it's going to go perfectly. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So Thank are you excited? You. Are you nervous? How are you feeling about tonight's live? I'm extremely excited, but I'm also really <laughs> nervous. I've definitely got butterflies, definitely. You'll be fine. You are around women who absolutely adore the pants off your honey, so you've got nothing to oh. do in good company. Um, yeah. So for those of you who haven't seen one of my leader spotlights, the whole point of this is to raise awareness for our industry, I guess, and, and raise the standards a little bit and show people what actually goes on behind the scenes. A lot of people, they have assumptions about network marketing, and I want to show you that the people on my team, the people who are are succeeding, are looking after their teams, they are good, honest people, genuine, with big ambitions, big drive. And also there's a lot of people who are in my team who are watching, who are just starting out, who are heading for their promotions. And I really hope that they can take something from this and learn from it and grow from the people I interview. <laughs> so Lisa, let's make a start gorgeous. So I'm going to ask you my first question, and that is the obvious one. What did you do before you joined Unique? Okay, so before Unique, um, I finished school and I decided to go to sick form and I did psychology. So I actually really loved doing psychology. So I thought, you know, yeah, it's a good subject. <laughs> it, it really grabbed me and I thought, Do you know what? Everybody goes to uni, it's a thing to do. I will go to uni, I will study psychology. Um, and it wasn't until right at the very last minute and I thought, Do you know what? I don't think this is what I want to do. Um, so I thought, I'm going to go out, I'm going to get a job, and I'm going to earn some money. 
And I never really knew what I wanted to do. Like you, Leanne, I never really had something in mind that I wanted to go for and pursue. So I kind of just went for a sort of safe job, really, that I just I just fell into it. So I ended up working um, full time in a public sector role, um, office based. And then after having my two children, so Corey and Brooke, they're four and two. After them, I decided to go part time. And that is what I'm currently doing now alongside Unique. Amazing, amazing. It sounds like we've lived parallel lives. <laughs> it really has, because I always say, you've seen my videos and my story, and I always say that even when I was 30 years old, I felt like I didn't know what I wanted to be when I grow up. And I think a lot of people are like that, and they fall into jobs. Mm -hmm. um, they, they, they kind of fall into a future that they don't really design, but it just kind of happens to them. I was certainly that girl, and like you, I studied psychology at sixth form, absolutely loved it. Went on to study it at uni, came out of university, and was very shocked to find that there wasn't a job ready and waiting for me. And I had to start from scratch, just like everybody else. And I, I ended up working for councils and stationary companies and whatnot, and didn't really feel any passion. So I completely relate to that. Um, so what was it like working in the public sector? <laughs> I've got to be careful here. Um, <laughs> it, is, it is a good job. I, I do enjoy the job. However, since doing this, um, my mindset's completely changed and I do really notice now how much of a really negative environment it is to work in. Day to day, you know, some of the stuff I'm faced with is, is not nice stuff. Hmm. Um, so it's completely different from Unique. It's completely different. Yeah. In what way? How does it compare? Kind of the, the mindset? Um, I mean, firstly, it's Unique is so much more sociable. So I really enjoy that <laughs> part of it. I'm not sitting Brownies for adults, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. It's so much fun. It is so much fun. And I really like the fact that it is on my terms. So if I want to work super, super hard, I get paid for it. And if I, you know, if I'm not feeling it, I don't have to do it. Yeah. And also, you know, if I want to take the kids off, you know, to the beach or something, I can work from the beach. But I can't just phone in work and say, hey, I'm going to work from the beach today because it doesn't really work like that. So it's, it's miles apart, miles apart. It's a much better way of working. I really do believe that. And I, oh, I just love that you touched on the fact that you, you get out what you put in. Because it is true, you know, if you can't work so hard in one particular month, you know, you, you have that option that you can take your foot off the pedal a little bit. And there's nobody breathing down your neck telling you, what are you doing? You've got to be doing this. You've got to be doing that. That's uh, one of my favorite things. I'm completely unemployable. <laughs> but at the same time, you know, the people that do work this business and they do put their heart and soul into it, they get paid what they're rewarded and there's no nepotism and there's no sexism and there's nothing, there's none of this, it's not what you know, it's who you know. It is, it is full on what you're willing to put in, what you're willing to learn and, and you know, you get out of it what you put Absolutely. in. Absolutely. Because I mean, in my job, you know, there's only so much I can do. There's only so high I can go and then that's, that's it really. I'm not going to be, you know, top dog. It's just, it's just not, really possible but in unique you just go up and up and up and the pay just goes up and up if that's what you want and it just doesn't stop so that really excites me hugely <laughs> there's no glass ceiling you you can go as high as you want amazing and you know we we have such a positive environment as well that we work in and i know a lot of people see us as happy clappy <laughs> which is fine <laughs> by me Said there was some negativity in your in your job and you know that goes for a lot of jobs I think and it's not that we don't have challenges it's not that we don't have problems within unique we absolutely do everybody has their own cost to bear we just taught how to deal with it and that negativity gets you anywhere and what we do is 90% mindset 10% skill so you have the right attitude in life it will take you places and and so that's cool <laughs> Go on. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I just said I've quickly learned that in this business. It's all in the attitude. Absolutely. For sure. Awesome. Okay, so my next question. Why did you join? Do you know what? There is a number of reasons. Um, the first reason, really, I think, 
I kind of lost my identity a bit, having had two children, mm. being a mummy at work. I, I started, people started saying to me, oh, hi, you're Ryan's wife, aren't you? And I was a bit like, hmm. I'm Lisa, I'm not Ryan's wife. Or at preschool, uh, people used to say, oh yeah, you're Corey's mum. Mm. And that's lovely. I do like being those people. I like being Ryan's wife and Corey and Brooke's mum, but I also wanted to be me as well. Um, so that was one of the reasons. Another one of the reasons was I tried the products and I absolutely loved them. <laughs> I never thought I'd fall in love with a concealer so much. Yeah. But um, they're amazing products. So that just got me as well. And also, uh, having had Brooke, my second child, I kind of, I felt a bit sad because I thought this is my last child now. That's it. I'm not going to be doing the whole maternity leave thing again. And I thought, okay, in future, I'm going to have to pick up more hours at work or go back full time. And I just suddenly had a moment when I just thought, this can't be it. Yeah. Although I don't hate my job, I just thought, I, I, it's not, I can't imagine this being the rest of my life. I can't just do this forever. There needed to be something else and I was missing something and I didn't quite know what it was yet, but I felt like something was missing. Even though I was loved up with my children and my family and I had a lovely house and all those things, but just something yeah. wasn't there. Um, got to so be more. Probably, sorry, Liam. It's got to be more to life. Yeah, exactly. And plus, I thought, you know, it wouldn't hurt to have a bit of extra money as well. <laughs> it always helps. <laughs> <Just more money. laughs> Do you know, I work with a lot of mums and I hear it said a lot, a lot. You know, there, there is no better job in the world than being a mum and raising small humans, for sure. But at the same time, you go from, you know, life being all about you and then you have to live selflessly. And sometimes people do lose a bit of their identity along the way. And so I see this for a lot of women that Unique kind of gives them back a different purpose other than being a wife, other than being a mum. They kind of get something that's just theirs that they can focus on that takes them away from that and brings them a friendship circle that's outside of their mummy circles and um, just gives them another a reason, another reason for, you know, for being. <laughs> so I, I hear that a lot. I think you'll relate to a lot of ladies with, with that. Um, how quickly, you said money as well, you, you're doing this for money. How quickly did you make your starter kit uh, feedback for 69? Gosh, I think it, I'm pretty sure it was a week or two weeks most. Yeah. So it was, it was pretty quick. And when I first started, it wasn't like I didn't know everything about the company. I didn't know what, you know, the potential it had. So I wasn't like one of those women who went straight in, bang, bang, bang. I yeah. kind of dabbled a little bit, but I still made it back pretty quickly. Yeah. And what would you say to ladies who are concerned they can't afford that £69 starter fee? God, <laughs> it, it's nothing. <laughs> like what you get out of this business is... 69 pounds is literally diddly squat <laughs> like it really is I mean if you started your own business anything else you'd spend way more than that yeah. and you know so the risk there is so much greater but with this it's 69 pounds and you get you get amazing makeup anyway so even if it didn't work out um you've got awesome makeup That's so what I always say. it's like the, the starter kit is worth over 300 pounds you pay 69 pounds to join so essentially you could look at it as, as buying an amazing deal on a makeup kit and getting a business on the side, you know, because there's no penalties, no punishments, no contracts, no tie-ins, nothing like that. So it literally is just £69 that if you do the training and you, you follow your sponsor, you make it back so, so quickly. And, you know, that is exactly what I would say to anybody who's concerned that they can't afford the starter fee. And in fact, I always go as far as to say, if, if you can't afford to join Unique, then you really need to join Unique. I'm Absolutely. <laughs> Amazing. So Lisa, my next question, what is your why? What pushes you forward in this business? And what's the reason for, for doing this? Gosh, my why is absolutely my family, especially, I'm going to try not to get emotional because yeah. my family is literally everything to me. They're my heart and soul. Like my kids just, oh, they, they I, I 
they just melt my heart and that I just want to give them the very, very best. So for me, when I say, you know, the money would be good, it's, it's not the money itself. It's not me being greedy. It's what is the financial freedom that would come with it. So, um, I mean, if I, if we wanted to go on a family holiday and spend quality time together, I wouldn't have to think, oh, you know, I better make sure that the bills are paid or, or whatever. I, I would just be able to do that. And I want them to have the best life. And my husband as well. Yeah. He's, he works really hard and I, I want to be able to treat them all. Um, so my family are definitely the main reason why I do this. And all the tra- challenges that I've come across and any that I will <laughs> come across... I'll think about that and I will never stop. <laughs> I know that I will never stop because I'm doing it for them. Your family and pushing you forwards. Absolutely. Uh, but it's not just about them, I have to say. <laughs> it's not just about them. It is about me as well because I find that the more I'm doing this, the more I'm believing in myself and the old me would never believe that I could do this. So to prove my old self wrong is another reason why I want to do this so much because like just me doing this now, I never would have thought that I could have done this. (laughs) So it's mind bogglingly mad for me. Um, So that's another reason really why I do this. Um, And the time freedom as well. Yeah. The time freedom to take the kids to school, pick them up, do all the things that I want to do because life's too short, isn't it? It is. It's, it's one thing earning lots of money and lots of people do earn a very, very good income doing other jobs. But I would say 99% of the, the J-O-Bs, the jobs in this world, they are not residual. And so you work really hard, you you earn a good wage, it's the golden handcuffs though, because you have all this money, but you don't actually have the time because you're yeah. a prisoner of your job, so you don't have the time to enjoy it. So, you know, if you had the money and you had the time, what would your perfect day look like? Gosh, well, my, my eldest is due to start school in September, and my little girl, she's going to start a day at preschool. So ideally, I'd like to be able to get up in the morning, do our usual shake up sort of thing, put some music <laughs> on, wake up, do a bit of uh, dancing and aerobics with the, with the little ones, <laughs> um, and then walk them to school, walk them to preschool, and then be able to rock my business because even if, you know, I, even if I was earning so much money, I'd still want to do this yeah. because it's the purpose that keeps me going mm. um, and the growth. Um, so yeah, I'd like to be able to walk them to school, rock my business and then have time to see my mum. She's retired. I'd be able to go and see her. I'd be able to get all the jobs done that I need to do during the week and have the weekend free with the family and just, just be free. Yeah. Just be free. You really are all about family and that kind yeah. of family community. It's lovely. It's really lovely. Okay, so you work with your sister, talking about family. Your I do, she's sister. watching. <laughs> Hi, Teresa. I can see, I can see her. So, <laughs> Teresa joined your team. She is your very, very wonderful sister, and it's looking very likely that she is going to be your first elite. So let's have a little bit of fun, shall we, as Teresa's watching. <laughs> What's it like working with your sister? <laughs> You know what? It's so, so lovely. We're actually 10 years apart. So growing up, she was always, oh, my big sister. (laughs) Um, You know, she used to say to me, when you're six, I'll be 16. When when you're eight, I'll be 18. And you can come out with me and stuff like that. (laughs) Um, But we never really, I wouldn't say we weren't close, but we never really like had that connection because of the age gap, I think. So since she's joined, we speak to each other all the time and we get excited together. We have our down days together. We just do so much and it is an absolute privilege to work alongside her. She's amazing. (laughs) I love her. She says you're going to make her cry. (laughs) (laughs) Don't cry, sis. It is an amazing thing that you can do this together with your family. I mean, was Teresa always supportive of you? Did she did it take her a long time to jump in? <laughs> she was always supportive, absolutely. She was always supportive, but it did take her a year to join, I have to say. It took her a year. 
I think she watched me um, and she, like me, didn't realize what potential yeah. it had. Yeah. And then after a year, she was like, I might just get the kit. And I was like, okay, okay. I always and then the best way to recruit your friends and family is to show them success, show them it works. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But then she said, I don't want a team. I don't want to do all that. I'll just buy the kit. And I was like, okay, that's fine. That's fine. That and then, yeah, that changed quite. <laughs> And now she's smashing it, and no doubt she's going to be my first elite. Amazing. She's amazing. She's going to go green this month. I'm pretty sure of that. I messaged her to yeah. give her a little, a little uh, supportive kick. She's oh. incredible. Teresa, you really are awesome. You both are. Put my light on. There we go. Oh, is that a bit too bright? Oh, I look like a ghost now. There we go. <laughs> You're good. So, did you have any reservations when you started? Yes, I did. It was more the feeling that there were other presenters out there that were extroverts and they were very pow, pow, bubbly and confident. And I just thought, oh, God, can I, can I do that? I didn't doubt that I could sell anything or I couldn't, you know, do the posts or that. It was, it was doing the lives, doing the videos, um, all that kind of stuff. I just didn't think I was the type of person to do it because I am a very sort of introverted personality. Um, I'm not hugely sociable. Well, I am now, but I wasn't. <laughs> um, so I, I was kind of comparing myself at the beginning and thinking that I could never be like them. Yeah. But I've learned now that being me is absolutely enough and I don't have to be them. I just have to be me. Yeah. You got and it. that's my great gift <laughs> to be you, myself. You got it. You got it 100%. Again, I can relate to you. When, when I was before Unique, a lot of my team know this, so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, girls, but I didn't even like the word selfie. When it had its place in the dictionary, I was like, oh, silly girls and their selfies. And that was very much my problem, very much my problem. So when it came to Unique and having to post selfies of myself online, that was a big challenge for me. And it wasn't actually the selfie thing. It was a confidence thing, let's face it. And I just got over that hurdle of posting selfies and now I love it. Now I have sparkly selfie sticks. <laughs> um, then I realized I was gonna have to do videos. Well, it took me seven months to do my first video, to pluck up that courage. And then as soon as I got comfortable with that, they brought out Facebook Live and I was like, are you kidding me? Are you Now I have to do it and I can make mistakes and everybody can watch me flounder. No, thank you. And so I was very, very much like you in that respect. Took me a lot longer than the average person to get started in the videos for sure. Um, but it's, it is a case of once you break that cherry, <laughs> It gets easier, doesn't it? And the more you do it, the more confident you get until you can come on live with a, with a Black Status presenter and you can share your story with 70 odd viewers and confidently. I mean, you look so at home and at ease on this live. You really do, Lisa. Um, and as for the extrovert thing, it's funny, you know, because there's two very famous extroverts in our business, business one of which being Amber Voigt, self-confessed extrovert and the other one is Eric Worre who is for those of you who don't know Eric Worre is like our industry <sighs> oracle he's amazing and he is a big extra uh, introvert so you don't need to be the bravest person the most outgoing person in the world to do this you play to your strengths and I think it's more a case of understanding where you're strong and using that part of your personality, you know, playing to your strengths. It's not that we don't work on our weaknesses, we do. I don't think being an introvert is a weakness though. I think it's, it's who you are, own it. Kate Spicer, I don't know if she's watching, she's another lady who isn't the biggest extrovert in the world but she is one of the best business builders in my team. She's incredible and, you know, I don't think that holds us back. <laughs> not at all I, I remember doing my first video that was before even lives or anything and Ryan will, Ryan will tell you I was shaking like 
crazy and yeah. nobody was even watching like I didn't have to yeah. post it no one could see it and I was like a wreck and I remember thinking oh I can't keep doing this but yeah the more you do it the more it becomes mm -hmm. second nature and now I'm doing lives and you just you just move on you just push yourself out that little bit extra each time and you just grow that's the only way isn't it it's the only way the only way to grow is to push yourself out of the comfort zone and you what you find is your comfort zone gets bigger and bigger it encompasses more things and before you know it you're doing things you never thought you would do in a million years and it's wonderful to watch when women come into this team and you see them grow into that as i'm sure you're you're experiencing it now with your team it it really is so fulfilling to see people find find themselves I guess that's what we're talking about here um, so what has this done for you so far so so much so so much in what a year and a half roughly my confidence levels have absolutely skyrocketed like I said I could never imagine doing this and um, before even leaving an answer machine message was a huge deal for me in case I stumbled on my words or in case I didn't know what to say or I had a blank moment or something silly like that but whatever people are human aren't they yeah. and you get over it yeah. so now it, it it doesn't bother me anymore it doesn't bother me um so confidence is a huge deal that's one of the most important things that unique has brought me but I mean, gosh, I could I could talk all all night about this question. <laughs> um, the friendships, the friendships, the ladies that I've met, like like minded ladies who are so supportive, and even if they're not on my team and they've got nothing to do with me, I just find the love and encouragement just the best thing I've ever experienced in my life. To always know that someone's got your back and someone wants you to succeed is magic. It really, really is. So, yeah, the friendship, the belonging, the wife sisterhood we have. Um, I love getting together at the events. So I buzz like <laughs> crazy. I must drive my friends mad. Um, but it's just, it's just so much fun. Um, and obviously, the money side of things has really helped as well. Um, my husband recently turned thirty, and my little girl had her birthday, and it was around the time that I first hit my green promotion. So. I was really able to treat them mm. and not that I was poor before I wasn't poor but um I could certainly treat them like I wanted to through a big party you know paid for all the drinks paid for all the food got him some great gifts and the same with my little girl and to see their faces um <laughs> it's just the best it's just the best I think a better question would have been what has this not done for you <laughs> <laughs> It's great to hear it really is. So my next question, what's been your biggest challenge since you started? I'm losing light a little bit, aren't I? Yes. My selfie light won't go any brighter, but um, <laughs> hopefully you can still see me. My biggest challenge is definitely being my mindset because I grew up a very protected sort of girl. I wasn't push to challenge myself much mm. if I was at the point where I could fail if that's the right way to explain it then I was always helped I was always sort of whipped mm. away from the scariness of whatever it was even if it was I don't know going somewhere and there might not be a parking space it was like oh well I'll take you just little things like yeah. that um and I was always a real big pessimist my glass was always half empty. And that's just how I grew up really. And I didn't realize how negative I was until I joined Unique and I started working on myself. And I now know how much happier I can be and how much more fun life is yeah. when you're not always looking at the negatives of every situation. Just by making that switch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I know that I've done that now and it's just made a huge difference to my life. Amazing. Huge difference. How do you feel about your challenges now? Oh, my challenges now. Obviously, there are still times when I may slip slightly back <laughs> into the old way. And Ryan will definitely say, I'm going to put my light on in a minute because it's getting very dark. <laughs> I can put the light on. <laughs> Hello. Um, yeah, I do slip back into the negativity sometimes. But Ryan, he's... He's always been very positive, so he will whip me out of it. And if he doesn't, I recognise it now. Yeah. 
and I know what I need to do to get back out of it. Oh, bless him, he's coming to put the light on. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have to man, move. Ryan, he really is. I met him at one of the events and he's so supportive. So shout out to Ryan. <laughs> yeah, he's amazing. Um, I still obviously get lots of challenges now, but... Thanks, babe. <laughs> but like I said, it's, it's just knowing how to get through it and coming out the other side. Now you have the mindset to overcome them. You recognise it and you can turn it around. Amazing. Yeah. So we've got a lot of new starters on, um, on the live. So what would be your top tip to anybody who's just starting out in this business and who wants to get going? Just, just have faith and belief in yourself because oh, it's, it's such a huge opportunity. And if you're held back by your negative self-talk saying you're not good enough you can't do this she's better than you you know all the things that we all think then you'll never do it and you'll never know what it could be like hmm. um so my advice would be to yeah have total belief in yourself and go for it yeah. absolutely absolutely just go for it just believe in yourself I love that yeah. I love that 90 percent and probably more of the ladies who come into this business when they first start don't believe in themselves and I think that is an absolute travesty of women these days they're just so I don't know we're a bit battered I think yeah and we're some... too worried about what people think aren't we and like like you've um taught me that there's you know there's a part of the brain that says ah alarm bells you're mm. gonna die yeah <laughs> And we're actually not going to die, like, doing this live now. What's the worst that can happen to me? I make a bit of a, you know, out of myself. Which you would. You know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. But see, that's your little voice there, going again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's so true. And we do do a lot of work on belief. And we've touched on it a lot today, on confidence. Um, well, essentially what we're talking about here is having a growth mindset, you know, looking at everything we do and being willing to make mistakes, being willing to fail, being willing to put ourselves out there and from every single step we make to grow from it and learn how we could do it better and to take something from, from the challenges we face. Um, so we do a lot of professional and personal development in this business. It's a big part of why we grow. And so if you could recommend any self-development book to the people watching this live, which one would it be? I've been listening to The Energy Bus. I'm actually going through <laughs> it for like the second or third time now. Love it. And yeah, it's, it's amazing because it's so easy to listen to for anyone because it's like a story. So yeah. you can just sit and chill and listen to this wonderful story. And I find this really helped me because I was such a negative person. And I always saw the worst in a situation. It's really helped me turn the negativity into a positive um, and not just see everything as, a, an, as an inconvenience to my life. Absolutely. So that, that really has helped me. Um, I like listening to audio sometimes, especially for that one, because it's a story. Yeah. Um, yeah, I love that. I love that. I've actually read it as well. And it's like, um, it's almost like a parable. So it's very, very easy to listen to. And yeah. say this book is amazing for everybody, not just network marketers, not just for professionals, but everybody who struggles with negativity, either for themselves or for other people. And one thing I say is everybody needs a joy in their life. <laughs> That's the name of the bus driver, right? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> everybody needs a joy in their life. They really do. So, um, my last question before I let you get on with your evening, oh. <laughs> where do you see yourself in, let's say two years time? Oh, to think about this, <laughs> oh, <bless my. laughs> like I am on a mission. I'm a woman on a mission and I will absolutely be at the top. Yeah. Yeah. I will be black status. I know I will. I can feel it. Um, I know now that I just have to keep doing exactly what I'm doing. I don't have to change anything. I've just got to be consistent, do what I'm doing, and I will get to the top. Yeah. Um, so just in terms of me personally, I, I want to be an even better version of myself. I'm going to keep up the self-development. I want to be happy. I want to be surrounded by my family. I want to be able to treat them. I want to 
you know, wake up every day and feel <laughs> like I have the freedom to yeah. take them to school, pick them up, like I said, and just, well, just be happy. Yeah, amazing. You'll get there. You'll get there, Lisa. There's no doubt about that whatsoever in my mind. We all believe in you. You're an absolute rock star. Whatever you've been doing has been working a treat. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep believing in yourself and keep doing the self-development, all the things you just said. Um, I'm the best, Leanne. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, you have been amazing today. You don't even a little bit nervous you you're just incredible completely succinct and I think a lot of ladies have taken a lot from you today so I'll let you go go look through the comments I could see that there were a lot of people popping up and showing their support and thank uh, you I normally I haven't looked at all tonight because I thought no I'm not going to get distracted I'm just like (laughs) looking at you and nowhere else (laughs) I do the same on these lives we love you girls but you're very distracting (laughs) (laughs) All right, darling, have an amazing evening and the very, very best of luck with Operation Orange this month. You're going to do it. Teresa, good luck with Green. You've got this. <laughs> we have. Thank you so much, Leanne. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. And thank you, girls, for watching. We'll see you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Bye, darling. Take care. Bye.